you're going to be working with data for me this semester and a lot of you are going to be using the software program statistics using the application gateway and you might be asking what are those things statistics is software if you have a pc you can actually purchase the software usually through the bookstore and load it on your pc if you're working with a mac however that option isn't available to you uh, most students in my class, whether they're PCs or Mac, use what's called the application gateway. And let me show you where that's located. So I'm in my USF, and a lot of times I'll go to Canvas, but in this case, I'm going to click on the application gateway. And when I do that, it's going to open me up to a page where a lot of software programs are stored. This is the first page, and now I'm just going to go ahead and hit sign in. The first time you're here, if it's the first time you've ever been here, you might have to register. But I'm going to sign in. Once you sign in, it's going to load you to this page where there's a whole lot of different software programs. The one we're going to use is this guy right here, Statistics 10. So I'm going to click on that. And then it's going to ask me to allow for local resources, uh, clipboard, file transfer, printer. Uh, I just generally allow. And then it's going to go into the launching of statistics 10. This is typically where it asks for your credentials. Now I've done this enough that it remembers me, but this is where you put in your USF email address and then your net ID password and click on submit. And then eventually you're going to get to this page where it is a statistics software. Now I'm going to make it bigger to fill the page. Uh, but this is the software we're going to be using throughout the semester. Now, I should mention to you that throughout this video, I've been hitting the pause button on my recording because there's been quite a lag in how long it's taken to load. Now, sometimes that's due to just uh, Canvas issues, application gateway issues, and sometimes that's caused by the fact that I'm actually filming this while I do it. Um, but just be patient as it loads. It may not load as fast as what you saw in this particular video. This is the software we're going to be using for the semester. In another video, I'll tell you about how you enter data in statistics or uh, Excel and then work with that. But in this video, I want to show you how we access that data. And it's a little risky, to be honest with you, because throughout the year, Application Gateway will make changes. In fact, sometime over the summer, all the files I had loaded onto uh, my account were deleted. So uh, that caused problems for me, but it also caused problems for my students because the first three projects they worked on, the data set was there. And then all of a sudden for project four, everyone was like, what happened to the data? Where'd it go? So I'm going to strongly recommend that you, when you work with the data, when you collect your data, again, I'm covering this in another video, uh, you have a file backup that you have. And what I generally recommend, and we'll see how it works because uh, I haven't actually tried the application gateway this semester, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I generally recommend entering your data into Excel and then using that to upload it into the application gateway. So let me show you what I have first and foremost. In my Excel file, I have some home data. So I have the price of the home, the size of the home, location of the home. Again, I've talked about this in another video, uh, but this is what the data look like. No commas, no dollar signs. And there are three locations, which I put in as ones, twos, and threes. Now the goal is to get this data into the application gateway. So let me minimize this and we'll see how we do that. All right, so the first thing I need to do is to upload some data. So if I go here, this is generally how we try to find files in statistics. If I click on this link, um, I don't have the file anywhere accessible yet. So we first go and click on the upload icon here, this little up arrow. And when we do that, it asks us to go and find the file that we want to upload. Now, I have a data set called the Project Data Demo Data Set. That's the Excel version of it. I've also created a statistics version of it. So you can see both are sitting here. But I'm going to recommend you create an Excel data set. So I'm going to click on that. So I'm going to choose that one. And I'm going to say Open. Now, I get a lot of emails from students asking, what happened? I uploaded the file and I don't see it. Well, you haven't opened it yet. You just uploaded it to an accessible menu. So now you have to go and find it. Now, if it was a statistics file, we would just hit the open icon over here, but because it's an Excel file, we're gonna hit the file icon or the menu, I guess. And then we're gonna come down to import. And when I go over to the import, I have an Excel file option. I'm gonna choose that. 
And now statistics is going to look, statistics in the application gateway is going to look for the file that you just uploaded. And you can see I have a whole bunch here, but these are files that I've uploaded in the past. And that's not the one I'm working on right now. It doesn't show up in the documents folder, so I have to go and find it. And so I clicked on this PC. That was the option that I took. And you can see up here, and it's slow because I am filming. But you choose this PC. When you open that, as you scroll down here, you see remote desktop virtual drive. That's the one you want. When you go here, sure it is. And you could click on uploads. This is where you're going to find your data set. And so again, it's taking a little bit of a load. There it is. Project data demo data set. I'm going to click on that and I'll say open. And then it's going to ask you, statistics is going to ask you a little bit about the variables. And you can see it's taking a little bit of time. But it eventually gets you to this question. What do you want to do with the variable names? And so the, in the data set, the variable names are price, size, and location. Do you want to rename them? Do you want to do something different? Just hit OK. Just click on OK, and here's what you get. It imports the data, and you can see 75 cases are imported. And so what we just did there is we had an Excel file on our laptop or PC or whatever you want to call it, your tablet and it was saved on your tablet now we've uploaded it to the application gateway and we have access to it now what i'm going to recommend you do at this point is save it i want you to save this data set and i want you to save it as a statistics file that you're going to have easier access to so i'm going to say let's put it in the documents folder now okay and i'm going to call this my uh, class demonstration data set and I'll say save all right so now I've just saved it as a statistics file and so if I hit the X and get out of here say like log off and maybe the next project's rolling around and oh no I have a little bit of work to do now what you should be able to do is just click on open and when you click on open it's going to automatically go to your documents and what do we just call that the class demonstration data set so i'll say open that and there it is and this is the part that the application gateway all of a sudden took all those files away all the files that were uploaded or then and saved it took them away so i told students make sure you have the source data make sure you have the excel file keep that in a safe place put it on a flash drive put it on your hard drive whatever it happens to be because if they decide to make changes in the application gateway mid-semester you won't have to go out and collect more data and that's how we're going to work with data in the application gateway. Now, the things that we're going to do with this data, I should say that's how we're going to work with files in the application gateway. The things that we're going to do with these uh, data sets, I'm going to be assigning projects throughout the semester and showing you how to generate the printouts. But you need a data set. The data set you start with is the one you're going to use throughout the semester. So I encourage you, sooner is better than later. The sooner you can get that data set collected and saved, you're good to go. I don't care which data set you use. See my project data video where I talk a little bit more about your options with data sets to try to figure out what's best for you and then go with it. All right, that's the application gateway. That's the application gateway as of August 2022. If and when changes occur in the application gateway and how we use it at USF, which I guarantee you, there'll be another one of these videos made before this time next year, uh, but we'll just deal with it. And as long as you have your original data set saved somewhere that's not on the application gateway, you're not going to ever run into trouble. So uh, that's how you do it. Good luck.